Hello beautiful souls, Kim Crystal here and welcome to today's video. I am so excited because I thought I would do a little crystal collection video update on this channel. We have done a video last year, I think, about my crystal collection but it has grown a lot since then so I thought I would show you my crystals. These crystals are part of myself and my sister's crystal collection so I just can't wait to show you guys the beautiful pieces we have. We have started a sister crystal shop so if you guys would like to check that out you can do that. It's over here, I'll leave the link and in the description box down below we have some of these crystals up for sale if you guys would like to grab some of these massive amazing beautiful crystals you guys can check that out as well. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's jump straight into it. So on my bedside table I have my sister's amethyst cave over here. I have this beautiful piece of rose quartz. So fluorite, amethyst, citrine, more fluorite, rose quartz, then some labradorite. If you guys can see that, it's absolutely beautiful. It has this beautiful shine to it. Then I have some smoky quartz. And then I have my selenite lamp. And that one turns on. So this is just my bedside table lamp. So oh, I love it so much. My mom got it for me and I'm never getting rid of it. It's so cool. Then I have my moon lamp, which my beautiful friend gave to me for Christmas. So thank you so much, Kylie. I love it so much. And now let's go to my other side of my bed on there. And I'll show you which crystals are on that one. You guys can see yourselves in the mirror. Say hi. Um, so on my other side of my bedside, I have my selenite lamp, selenite sphere, a clear quartz sphere, some labradorite, which I will show you a close-up of, and some more labradorite spheres, some smoky quartz, rose quartz, rose quartz, some fluorite, and some clear quartz. I have so many little pieces of crystals just lying around, so I might not show all of them, but I will show you guys all the big pieces, and then this is just a clay wand I made. And then I'm not sure what, what crystal this one is, so if you guys know what crystal this is, please let me know in the comments down below. I've been wondering for ages. And now let's jump to the bigger crystals we have. So now these are my sister's crystals at the moment. They are in the mirror behind, so you guys can see them over there. <laughs> and yeah, let me go show you. They are absolutely huge. One of mine is in there and that's the 9 kilo fluoride. It is huge. I cannot pick it up without two hands. It is massive. So yeah, let's go and see those crystals. Okay, so I'm going to show you some of my larger crystals. So these are all my sisters. She bought them because she's starting a crystal shop. So these ones are for sale. This one is my massive 9 kilo fluoride. It is huge. I will pick it up or try to pick it up to show you guys. So this is a beautiful clear quartz point. I will show you guys this one here. It is absolutely beautiful. When we got it, it felt sad, if that makes sense. But then there was a massive lightning storm. So we put it outside and it got rained on. And it's just so positively charged right now. It's giving off the most amazing energy. I just love it so much. So these ones over here are fluorite. So this is another fluorite of my sister's. So this one's really cool because it's got green, purple, and then some lilac and white bits of streaks going through it. It is absolutely beautiful. I love this stone so much. I was actually going to buy this one, but I cancelled my order. And a few days later, my sister said she bought it. And I was like... Because I have this feeling, I have this feeling that Zamira is coming and say hi. Zamira, come. Let me show you the stone. What's this? What's this? What's this? Do you like stones? And they're beautiful. I know, my darling. I love you so much. I love you so much. This is Zamira, guys. She's growing so much already. I love her so much, my little baby. Okay, so this is the fluorite. I believe that stones will find you. So if a stone is meant to be with you, it will somehow end up with you. So that is the story of this one. Now, this crystal here is another fluorite, but this one I find exceptionally interesting because it has some almost brown shades in it. 
and then it has purple and on the side here it is green but in certain lights it will look like it's got a blue tint to it so i will try to show you guys and it is just beautiful i might insert a photo i took of this one in my sister's room it is absolutely stunning this is such a cool and unique fluorite piece i'll put that down oh, it's heavy this is actually amethyst but it's heat treated to become citrine so this is technically amethyst but i'm going to call it citrine because the chemical reaction has taken place so this is technically citrine it is a money stone and new ideas and inspiration stone it's a really good stone to have around workplace or study so i'll put that one down okay i'm gonna try to pick up my big one i'm gonna move this one over there so this is my nine kilo nine kilo fluorite e. okay so this is my 9 kilo or over 9 kilo fluorite baby. Ooh. 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 When you go gym, you're heavy. Alright, so this one has green through it. Some lilac, some purples, and really, really deep purple. And I love the deep purple on this stone so much because it's heavy. It's got some really bright purples going through it, but then it's got some rainbow reflecting bits in it so when the crystal inside of it starts to grow at certain angles the light can actually reflect and shine a little rainbow through it so this one actually has quite a few rainbows going through it and it's just such a beautiful stone i love it so much <laughs> they say to keep crystals bigger than your problems i think we, we we're good here we're good all right i'm gonna book this one back This is a little rose quartz of, I don't even know if it's mine or my sister's actually, I can't remember, it's been here for many years. This one is such a beautiful little piece of rose quartz. Rose quartz is a love and acceptance stone, so it's supposed to open your heart chakra and a lot of lovely things that I try to avoid. But I absolutely love this rose quartz, it is so beautiful and I'm pretty sure most people have rose quartz. If you guys have rose quartz comment down below and tag me on your instagram or something i'd love to see your crystals okay oh i'm getting like puffed out from picking up these stones all right so this is another piece of fluorite so this is a very interesting fluorite because it doesn't have much purple in it if any purple at all it is mostly green so it's quite interesting because the higher quality grade of fluoride, it actually is almost clear. So it's really funny that you get to see these different shades of crystal, all the same crystal, but some of them look like different stones. Like this stone and this stone looks like they are two different types of stone, but they're actually both fluoride. So this one is a massive piece of green fluoride. So fluoride can help you activate the third eye chakra and it is a very important cleaning stone. So not that it's going to clean your room, it's very good for clearing mental blockages and things that you have very deeply suppressed. So what I found is usually when someone brings fluoride into my home, I will either stop crying or maybe feel a little bit more emotionally sensitive. and. Now, whatever you do believe about it, someone can bring a crystal in a brown bag into my house and I will know that there's a crystal in that bag. It has happened on multiple occasions. I will just know that there's a rock because it gives off a very strong frequency and you can actually feel it when it's in a room. And fluoride just helps you release all of the mental blockages. Also protects against negative thoughts. So it just makes sure that nothing suppressed sits on your heart so it just pushes it out straight out but you do have to clean fluoride because fluoride can hold a lot of energy so it's important to sage your crystals put them in moonlight put them in some lightly salted water just check if the crystal can be in water as well because that's exceptionally important um, I had a beautiful piece of angel light and that came in contact with water and it started to disintegrate so 
I know fluorite's fine with water, rose quartz is fine with water, and clear quartz is fine with water. So those are absolutely fine to be cleaned that way. So this is another piece of fluorite over here. So green fluorite is more of a mental clearing stone. So this is really going to help get rid of distractions and help with learning and focus. So it is a very good study stone to have around. I find if I study with fluorite, my memory retention is a lot better. With purple fluorite, it is more about third eye and chakra opening. So this is more of a spiritual stone than the green one is more of a practical stone, if that makes sense. If you guys would like more of a crystal meaning video, I can do that for you guys as well. Just because I wanted to keep this one lighthearted because I know a lot of people don't believe in crystals and that's okay, or the healing properties in crystals. But the bottom line is... Every single thing on this earth, doesn't matter if it's a plant or human, we are all a vibrational frequency. And so is a crystal. So a crystal is not a liquid, solid or gas. It is a frequency. So if you are able to change a frequency, you are able to change the physical and the mental form of the object, that being a person or something outside of your life. So crystals are in your cell phones and your computers. So that is why I use crystals in my daily life. And if you guys would like a video on how to use crystals and the properties and how crystals work, you guys can comment that down below. I can do another video on that for you guys. So I think that's all my crystals and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll do a little outro for you guys now. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Comment down below what was your favorite crystal or what is your favorite crystal and which ones I should add to my collection. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and a lovely day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!